have mercy. Cut it out. No way, Jose. You got it, dude. You little nerd bomber. <laughs> Joseph, you are a knucklehead. Oh, come on now. Cut it out. <laughs> The favorite part uh, for me about playing Joey Gladstone on, uh, on Full House is that I got to bring a lot of elements from my real life into the show. I'm an airplane pilot, so we did an episode where I got to fly Jesse and drop him off in a tomato patch. Whoa! Have mercy! <laughs> oh my God! We did an episode where I got to play ice hockey, and we also got to incorporate some of my stand-up in the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the comedy styling of Joseph Gladstone. All right, get out of here. I think one of the funniest original episodes for me personally is when I was sitting in the kitchen and the cement truck backs up into the kitchen, and uh, my character doesn't know that the entire kitchen is filling up with cement. I usually don't laugh at myself, but for some reason, that particular scene made me laugh really hard. Well, there was one episode where I did get my tongue stuck in a bottle, and um, it was uh, through a chair. <laughs> and it made everybody laugh so hard in rehearsals when I came up with it that it just stuck on the show. Um, hi, Michelle. It's me, Kermit the Frog. I got to do uh, Kermit the Frog on the show. Uh, I got to do Papa on the show. <laughs> How's it going, Joseph? I talked to him. Uh, not bad, Popeye. Whoa! I got to do Bullwinkle Moose on the show. Uh, and then we started getting into some weird stuff. Like I remember doing Steven Tyler uh, trying to do his face and <laughs> sing Janie's Got a Gun. It's like, Janie's Got a Gun. So. Uh, and then I, I think I did Joe Pesci as a potato. Hey, Jess, look what I made. This potato kind of looks like Joe Pesci. <laughs> so it started getting a little, a little strange, a little, little out there. I was going off. Unbelievable. Hey, thank you. Oh, come on now. Cut it out. Quit it. Come on, knock it off. Well, let me tell you a little story about Cut It Out. My best friend, Mark Sandrowski, who I've known since we were eight years old, we're from the same hometown. Mark directs The Big Bang Theory. So years ago, uh, Mark and I were a comedy team called Sea and Ski. And Mark used to do this Mark Suave character, and he would uh, unbutton his shirt, and he would look at uh, a lady in the front row, and he'd go, cut it out. And I told him, I said, I'm stealing that, and I'm going to use it in my stand-up. I'm going to use it wherever I can. So he thinks I still owe him royalties on that. But you never get it, Mark, ever. Well, people come up to me on the street all the time and they'll get cut it out wrong. They'll come up and go, hey man, knock it around. And I'll be like, you mean cut it out? And they'll be like, oh, you got it. Like somehow I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> oh, the guest stars. We had Little Richard on the show. That was, uh, man, that was something. Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> I think Little Richard just walked through the kitchen. <laughs> We had Mickey Rooney on the show. That was uh, that was pretty interesting. Hello, Mr. Drenkhorn. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you. You're the little girl with a big bag of nickels. We had the Beach Boys, which were great. I mean, those guys became friends of the show, and we ended up doing a lot of episodes with them. And we got to sing Barbara Ann, I believe, at the Coliseum during a live football game, which was really, really cool. And and, um, you know, you'd be surprised if you go back and watch all 192 episodes, you'll see some pretty interesting guest stars. I got to see those girls grow up. They're like my own kids. And Mary-Kate and Ashley were only eight months old when we first started wearing diapers, but hey, so was I. Jody Sweeten was, I think, four or five years old, and she memorized the entire script. It was unbelievable. I remember when we first started uh, rehearsing with Jody, I walked out of there with John Stamos and we were like, well, that's the star of the show. She is a scene stealer for sure. And then Candace, I took Candace to the circus when she was 10 years old. I took her to uh, Cirque du Soleil in Santa Monica. I said, hey, would you like to go to the circus with me? And she's, her eyes lit up. And, and so I, I took her to the circus. I still feel like a father figure to all of them. We've been through so many things together. I introduced Candace 
to her husband Val many years ago at a charity hockey game and they're still together, they have three kids. So I feel a little bit like I'm Cupid at the same time. So, uh, you know, we really are a family. It's, it's uh, pretty unique, I think, in television that you become so close to your, to your castmates. And, and a lot of people, you know, that, that were part of the production as well. We, we really stuck together all these years. I got to have a lot of fatherly moments with the kids over the years. We, we tackled a lot of serious subjects, um, you know, that kids encounter when they're growing up. So there were always those, you know, those little sappy scenes where the violins would swell in the background and we would offer some kind of advice. And Last night when I didn't know where you were, I was scared to death. You know, that's, that's kind of how we felt uh, with them when they were growing up, for real, as though, you know, we could give them some kind of guidance in some way. Being back on the new series Fuller House, we have not missed a beat. All of the old jokes that we told back in the day, our little silly songs that we sing to each other, the, the stupid jokes that we say to each other, the pranks, we have not missed a beat. Uh, all of that stuff still comes back into play. And somebody can just start one of these songs or one of these bits and everybody just chimes in at the same time. So. Uh, we have not, uh, like I said, we have not missed a beat. I think Full House is a, is a family show, and I think there's something in it for everybody. Uh, you've got a lot of humor, you've got a lot of family interaction, you've got a lot of love, which a lot of shows don't really, the characters don't really say they love each other anymore. Because I love you so much. I love you too, Joey. And I think, I think Full House is, and Fuller House, I think they're both kind of like video comfort food for a lot of people. I've had so many people over the years come up to me and say, hey, I had a really tough childhood. And by watching Full House and now Fuller House, it really got me through some, some tough times. And I love hearing that.